Ich bin blöd, dass ich blöd bin. All right, great people. Good morning, great people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. According to your time zone, great people of Biafra. Like I promise, I told my people that I'm going to come up also today to talk about the problem that is facing us. Because I always face the reality. And I always tell my people what is about to come. And I always tell my people that I'm not a prophet. I'm not a prophet. And I'm not coming here to prophesize to you. But I'm telling you what I'm seeing. What is happening in that contraption called Daminibu Zoo? We are going to discuss a lot of things today. We are going to discuss about the Alaji and Kunle. We are going to also listen to the voice of Alaji and Kunle once again. And you people have already understand that our preamble is always Onyendumazin Namdekano. We are also going to listen to his voice. We are also going to play a voice of uh, the Prime Minister of UK, what he said. I want you to know that the Prime Minister, let me see if my voice is coming out sound and clear. Yes, I don't know. I just want to see if the voice is coming sound and clear. And, uh, okay, okay, the voice is coming sound and clear. At the same time, I'm also going to greet our people, those that are coming. Uh, John, Philip, you are welcome to this wonderful program. Levis, you are welcome to this wonderful program. Melody, you are welcome. I want you people to write your name so that I can be able to call because it's very, very important. We are going to also discuss about Julius. Razros Ju uh, Julius Malema, what an a South African man said about Nigerian people. We are going to discuss about that too. We are going to listen to the Prime Minister of UK and I want you people to understand that the Prime Minister of that uh, UK, uh, is it London or what? You know he is an Indian person. Of course, he, he lineage is from Indian. That is why the man can be able to tell you what is going on in that contraption. If you really see somebody that comes from that United Kingdom, they will never tell you the truth. Boris Johnson was there, isn't it? Did he talk about what is happening in Nigeria? The answer is no. The other woman before Boris Johnson, she was there. She did not talk about what is happening in Nigeria. But today, this man understands because they are also in that path. They are one of this uh, United Kingdom colonial. They know what they passed through before they become who they are today. That is why the man can be able to voice out. And we are going to listen to the man. And at the same time, we are also going to listen to an American man, 
he also tell you the problem of African people. Why African people? Why you can never fix Africa? Because there is a lot of people, they are beneficiary. Mostly the Europeans, they are involved. And that is the reason why I keep on telling our people, being you a good person can never solve the problem in that contraption. It can never solve it. Now you understand what I'm saying. It can never solve the problem. Except we go back to how we used to be before the colonial people came. That is what can solve the problem. We are not one people. And we are going to listen to it. At the same time, we are going to listen to how they started killing our people. How they have started rigging election since, since 1945. I'm going to bring the video of Biafran people. And this video happens, I think, in 1970-something. Uh, we are going to listen to it. At the same time, we are going to talk about what this, uh, a, a, this a Muslim then turned himself to a Christianity because he believed that that is where the money is, in the person of Suleiman. We are going to read out what Suleiman out there. That is why I keep on telling you people that Christianity in Africa, they are all weak. I don't like you people. Because all this thing that is happening today, you can never come here in Germany and begin to tell them that you have to fold your hands. They will be telling you to, to be praying. They will tell you to fold your hands and keep on praying that uh, the manna will fall from heaven. Why these people are here on this earth? Keep on buying bulletproof car. And buying private jets every single day. And promising you that your, your everlasting life is in heaven. We are going to discuss about Suleiman also. And, uh, and the most important thing that we are going to discuss today is about our women. You know, that is why you see, I keep on telling my people. Good day, Tony. Tony Vincent, you are welcome. Gift, God gift, you are welcome. I want to tell you that that is really what happened in uh, Abarayot. If you people haven't forgotten, when Mazen Namdekano was first in the prison, not in DSS dungeon, was in Kuje prison, who are those people that first protest? They are women, not those people in America. And we are going to also, I will make sure that I show this video of Azoka. What Azoka and the Berima call Simon are doing on the ground. Simon and the Berima and Azoka and Azoka husband. Because of all this, our people involvement in Juju, that is why Juju is catching them today. They have made Nelly Ofebu to be mad. Nelly Ofebu is useless today. The case of Nelo Febu, they are useless today. We are going to listen to uh, Onyan Agro the, 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 the they are native doctor. We are going to listen to the, 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 to the son of the native doctor. And you are going to hear what Eberima and uh, Azoka have did to, Sam, uh, to Nelo Febu. Because today, are you still hearing Nelo Febu? No. And if you people haven't forgotten, remember when Simon was saying that he, he gave uh, Nelly Ofebu one week. If Nelly Ofebu did not get mad, we are going to, you know, show it to our, the, the world so you understand. Because I posted a, a, a post today. I make my post today. Somebody came there, began to tell me, uh, you are not talking about autopilot again. I has nothing to do with autopilot. We have already defeated them. We have already defeated in the code of conduct. We have already defeated them. What we are doing now is to make a wave to be able to, you know, teach our people what they don't know. Mostly the Christianity in Africa, how they have already bacchanized our minds. The people, the pastors, the priests, the man of dogs in that place that are getting you people confused. We are going to talk about it. And we are going to also go to the miracle. The miracle of those people. Because I keep on telling you people, I don't know where these people are seeing those miracles that they are performing. You will see somebody is performing miracle. And you have forgotten that in this world, people are reading people's palm. 
in Europe today, there is a people they 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 are they are they are reading zodiacs, your signs. These people can never tell you that they are they they are all these things is from God, which is Kikabiyama. But our people in Biafra land in Nigeria, we go and practice the same thing that European people are doing here, calling it something else. Our people will turn it into miracle after they read your palm. After they use card to read what is going to about to come because of the kind of book they have read, they will not telling you that it's a miracle that God caused them. This one do this. We are going to discuss all this. But let me introduce myself before we go further. And I hope all of you are following. Um, all right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are still welcome once again on Biafran Television Channel One slash IPOB. Under the leadership of Mazin Nam de Okuchukukano. Mazin Nam de Kano is the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. He is director of Radio Biafra and Biafran Television worldwide. And Mazin Nam de Kano is the prisoner of conscience. He is still today in DSS dungeon after the competent court of appeal in that damnable zoo called Nigeria have discharged him and quitted him. But they are still holding him because they know that everything that is coming out from his mouth is a tornado tsunami when he speaks the world are listening that is why they are still holding him and i will always say this to our people on absence of mazen namdekano mazi chike dozem is the one in charge and everything that he says goes if you like you believe if you like you know it and chabaganya but let me start with the preamble of our leader what our leader said about the fulanese and what our leader said about this leadership that we are into. We are going to listen to it. And then I will continue showing you things. Because I have gotten to that point that I don't need to be talking too much. But always try to so that you can see and believe. Because that is the, the, the practicalization of things. You have to see it before you believe. Now let us go and hear what Onyendu said about this leadership that we are into. Let us listen. Let us listen. Onyendu. Ndewo. Let us listen and hear what Onyendu said. Pay attention and make sure don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Invite your friends. Invite your loved ones. Tell them to come. We are here. Now, let us listen to what Onyendu said about his leadership. Those that you're supposed to follow. Because we have, defect, we have defeated the autopilot. Some of them, they are out, are out there now, you know, saying that they, they are confessing. I have told them to go and hang themselves. You cannot massacre our people, kill our people because of your ignorance. And now you are coming back telling us that you wish you forget about those people that you have killed in the name of autopilot, in the name of you don't know who to follow. And Mazen Namde Kanu never tell you to follow any other person apart from this leadership called DOS and the allies. You are there yapping and talking us off of rubbish. When we are going to hang all of you people. We are going to hang all of you people. I got hang on. I can We are going to hang all of you people. You don't know who to follow. Why you don't know who to follow? Listen to what Onyendu said about this, this leadership. The doors are wise. Oh yeah, listen. I have pledged and sworn never to fail. I will not fail. The Reserve Board of Radio Biafra will not fail. The Directorate of State of IPOB will not fail. The families around the world never fail. Satan came and tried, and we overcame Lucifer, we conquered Satan in China, in Barcelona, we conquered the devil in Japan, the devil was comprehensively and resoundingly defeated in the Scandinavian countries, because in the end we always win. Yes. In the end we win. We win. Now, have you people heard it? Have you people heard it? 
Mazen Namdekano said, the leadership can never fail. The DOS can never fail. And he himself can never fail you people. But all of you people have abandoned him now, isn't it? Follow Pitobi. And now they have also left Pitobi. They left Pitobi. I'm still telling you to come and declaim all the killings and destruction of souls and properties of our people in Lagos. You are the cause. I'm not going to shy away from there. I still tell you that you are my brother, but I'm not going to lie about it. P2B, you should come and tell us the reason why you are involved killing our people in Lagos. I want to know the reason why. We told you, P2B, you are not going anywhere, but you don't want to hear. Now you see the problem you are causing to our people. Now they are killing our people. Now they are destroying the business of our people in Lagos. And the P2B, you are there saying nothing. And you think that I will come there and keep mute. I don't do that. Now let us hear what Onyendu said about Fulani people. Because we are ready. We never fail. Some of you that will go to DSX dungeon and uh, met with our leader and begin to concord and fabricate lies. You think that we are coming here to listen to every one of you? The leadership never fails. DOS, they are there to, you know, give us the guideline what we are going to do. And whatever Mazichike Dozem says goes. We are going to, let us uh, listen to Onyendu. Let us hear the prophecy of Onyendu. You know, we don't lie. I am not going to ask him back. Get on to. Wait. Get on to. And as you are coming in, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to invite your friends. Invite your families. Invite people that are around you. Tell them to come and listen to the gospel of redemption. We are in Exodus. The freedom of great, great people of Biaf, the kingdom of Chukwokikabiam on this planet Earth. Of course, I know you are not going to believe it, but how did you believe the religion they brought to you? How did you believe it? We are going to, you know, showcase everything, show you, because the Fulanese, they have already started their miracle too. And the, those of you in that contraption called Daminebu Zoo that are forcing yourself into this, that the GOs, all these man of dogs that are just reading people's palm and begin to use it as a miracle. They are reading people's palm. Most of them, they are magicians. All these magicians, we have magicians here in Europe that you will pay money and go and watch them. You will see some magicians, they will perform some, some, some because of the book they have read. They will be walking on swimming pool. They will be walking on top of water. After they've done all these things, they will tell you that this is magic. They will tell you it's a magic. In Africa, they will go and practice the same thing. Like to somebody like all this man of... They will practice the same thing. They will come to Africa. They will open a church. Begin to tell you it's a miracle. Just imagine the kind of... You know, you know how they have bacchanized our minds and our thinkings in Africa. Now, let us listen to Onion Dundewo. Let's go. To make matters worse, somebody from Sudan Yes. Who is not from somebody from Sudan to make matters worse? Somebody from Sudan who is not from Nigeria. Yes. Somebody an impostor. Yes. Who come to your land and read elections and you can't do anything about it? It is a shame. And of course, uh, they are. They are. They, are, they don't. They, blood, they don't know anything. I feel sorry for you people. I feel sorry. Dead Buhari. Honestly, speaking. he won election. Your in the zoo. Is IPOB. Only IPOB if you have any sense left in your brain, come back. We are going to accept tonight, you. Everybody should identify with IPOB, and within two weeks, you see what will happen. We will accept you, people. That's all you need to do. I have said it. Within two weeks, you will see what will happen. You will see what will happen. Somebody from Sudan. Some of you, dear friends, that left this very struggle to go and join Pitobi. Of your PVCs <laughs> and uh, some of the very hopeless Nigerians. Are you listening? When this man was saying this, this is a very, very long time broadcast. He have saw all these things. Mazin Namdekano was once a one Nigerianist. 
he was protesting against one Nigeria so that Nigeria, he was protesting against the, 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 the bad governance in Nigeria so that Nigeria can work out. But at the same time, he tried, try to see that this thing can never work. Being you a, a pastor, being you a priest in that contraption, there is nothing you can change. That is when this man come in conclusion, said no. The best thing that can happen to indigenous people that find themselves in that contraption is to go back the way they are before colonial master came so that you can be able to have life, have your own culture, your way of life. The same ideology running in your minds. Not somebody is a fool and it, somebody is from Futagelon. This one is, and they bring all of you together. Can you, can, have you ever seen in this life where oil and water have mixed together in Africa? Let us continue. According to the DVC people, especially those of them from Ibo land, they were very, very uh, vicious in terms of their attack against IPOB. The left and the Magellan was attacking IPOB. <laughs> How foolish they are. They are now complaining. Everybody is complaining. Ibo people. The nation... Why, 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 why? Why advertisement? How this advertisement comes? How come? Just one minute. I have to continue. Since 2014, it will be rigged over and over again. It will be rigged. When Jonathan was being pressured by Barack Obama to leave office, I was on air telling you that Barack Obama is on the phone pressuring Jonathan to leave. I also warned you people How will I, they won't listen now. that the then Buhari, who is now dead and buried in Saudi Arabia, yes, like every other jihadi around the world, yes, like Morsi of Egypt. I made that very broadcast and deputy must find it and play it. Oh, they listen. They won't listen. We are they going to find it. Listen. The Islamic Brotherhood wants to get into power. But once they get in, they don't want to leave. They, they are coming via democracy or via a democratic means. One man, or one woman, one vote, and all the rest of it. Ballot box. Once they get in, they change the rules of the game. You are right. Onyendi. And that is what they have done in the zoo. There is nothing anybody can do about it. Your so-called useless international observers, what have they done? Nothing. Nothing. That's <laughs> they came now. They, they came observers. American observers. Yes, election held. There were UK observers. Of and what did they do? And, Nothing. Um, disenfranchisement of voters. But all in all, we think uh, the election held. Yes. Yes. Because they've given them money. The same thing they do with ambassadors serving in the in Nigeria. I've said this many times. Catherine Alain, we are going to read his voice. It's Every a message. ambassador in Nigeria is bribed. British High Commissioner, uh, American ambassador, they are all given bribe to keep quiet. They see evil, they cannot speak. This is what is happening. They are massacring people on the road on a daily basis. They cannot send a decent report back to their home country. The excuse is always, uh, if, you, if Nigeria is destabilized, the entire region, rubbish, absolute bunkum. Soviet Union collapsed, the world did not collapse. How much more the tiny, dreadful, ignorant, backward zoological republic? This was it. Soviet Union collapsed. The world did not come to an end. How about a very insipidly corrupt, festering, nonsensical contraption like the zoo that the British created? Russia. Soviet Union collapsed. The war did not end. There was no nuclear war, nothing. What is this nonsense that ambassadors and diplomats keep sending back to, their, to, to the Western world? Oh, if anything happens to Nigeria, it's a regional power, it's the most populous country in, in Africa. What is pure nonsense to justify the enslavement of nearly 200 million people? Because they bribed them. So you, you put them off. Every ambassador serving in Nigeria from a respectable country is today a multimillionaire because if your useless foreign affairs will go and give them money. That's all. So Ami can come on the road and kill IPOB family members, nobody will talk. Ami can go and massacre Shia, nobody will talk. The secret could be held in communication. 
gathered for four years without trial. Nobody cares. In some things, the devil's anxiety. People can be rounded up, kidnapped. Anybody can be taken. It doesn't matter. Are you listening? Life continues as usual. We fight for the freedom All of black people. All things happening tells you about who you are. That you are a black person and that you are infinitely stupid and useless. Yes. I say it all the time. Infinitely useless and hopeless in this soji thing. They think they know something, they know nothing. Isn't it very simple? Isn't it very, very simple? Very simple. Stand on what you said in the beginning. Stand. And the I wind. say it tonight. Only if, only, only if. <laughs> right, baby. I'm not saying that you cannot be present if you want to be. But only if I send Ifere, Pandev, or Hanese, Medu Belt, only if they had held on to what they said initially, which was no restructuring, no election. Do you know what their parties are? Nigeria because is insincere people. They are not sincere. <laughs> They would have built in safeguards that would have prevented election rigging as part of the package. Are, you, and very neat. are you listening? Dearly, dearly. But these same people, yes, these the Zabo Safu and people that appointed them, most of them, in fact, almost all of them. All of them. They don't know nobody. Louis of your pastors are saying, use a PVC. And they said, you cannot vote out a diamond with PVC. It has never happened in Africa before. And Hi, it right. can happen again. Jonathan left office because he was not a tyrant. The deep just couldn't understand it. Somebody that overthrew or in his name, a civilian government was overthrown. The dead Bugario. Bugario is now dead in Saudi Arabia, <laughs> rotting away. You all can see the pictures. You all can see the difference between Jupiter oh, yeah, and the hold on there. that you all pretended somehow. Oh, oh, yeah. we, we don't want to know the we, count to be right. We, 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 saw, it, we saw it when you hold on there. Hold on there. Let us move forward. <laughs> Let us move forward. Let us move forward. And uh, now I hope you people have listened to Onyendu. The dead Bugari is this is still the one that ruling that contraption. Upon you know when we are saying that the black people, there is something wrong with our brains. Some people don't understand. The Queen Elizabeth II, the woman that just left the earth, wrote a conference letter to Nigerian people, wrote a Congress letter that their president have died. But do you know that somebody is still in Asorok parading himself as a president? You see, that is why when we are saying things, we want you people to understand, I'm not coming here to abuse you, but we want you to use your brain. A whole England, United Kingdom, wrote a letter, I'm telling you that this man have died, oh, but some people just carry somebody, package somebody, put him mask just to continue because he's a full knee. And none of you, none of you, none of you professors, none of you thinkers, you claim to be a thinker, you claim, you claim to be a doctor, you can't even speak. You can't even voice out and tell the world, come and come, come and see what is happening to that contraption called Damini Buzu. Because of, I keep on saying, Nigeria is a mainstream business to, 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 to foreign lands, especially British people. But we are going to listen to what a prime minister of Britain said today, in England, a prime minister, what he said, first in history, first in history. The reason why he said so, because his ancestors is from India. They have witnessed all these things that is happening. That is why the gold or the diamond that is in the, in the crown of Elizabeth, today they have removed it because the Indian people have came and told them that this diamond belongs to us. That is why today came King, uh, King Charles can never put that diamond. If it's African people, they will tell you, eh, it has been a long time now. Eh, it's okay now. Eh, let us forget about it now. Eh, what are we going? But Indian. Do you know how many years this thing happened? But they came back and told them that, no, we want this thing back. 
We want to, it's our own. We want as African, we tell you, hey, it's okay, hey, it's nothing, hey, it's this, is that. Because of your primitive life, because you don't want to understand, you don't want to learn. Are they are they are there using you? Let us hear what a, a British Prime Minister said. We are going to listen. Then you will understand that we are not lying. Everything that we are saying is the truth. Nothing but the truth. Nothing. Let us listen to British, a British man. Where, where is this video? Yeah, here. Let me bring it out so you will see. You will hear by yourself. No, I'm not the one that said it. You will hear. A British Prime Minister or London, England Prime Minister. You are going to see it here. So that you people say I'm, not, I'm, I'm lying. This is the man. They are now Prime Minister. Now let us listen to what he said about Nigeria. He will tell you that Nigeria is a fraud land. Now the people they are wait, we are waiting for are now speaking. The white man that you want him to tell you are now telling you. Now he's a Prime Minister. He's telling you this. But we have been saying this from the day one. I have been saying this for over seven years. That Nigeria is a fraud land. Now the Prime Minister will tell you so that you will believe what we are saying. And we thank God that this such a man came to become their Prime Minister. To be able to open some things. So that you will understand by yourself. Our people, I don't know what is wrong with our people. Let us listen to what a... a is it a, let me see, UK, UK Prime Minister. Let me get it correct because my grammar has to be correct. UK Prime Minister. UK Prime Minister. We are going to hear what he said. MP, now listen so that you will hear what you will tell you about Nigeria. What we're seeing in Nigeria today is part of that story. It's a tragedy that we are watching. All right. It's a tragedy that we are all witnessing. No, we because as we see things falling apart, the yes. pressure this time is not foreign colonialism, colonialism, forgive me. The pressure instead is corruption, corruption and violence and violence and attempts at control. <laughs> and that's why I totally agree with my old friend, the member for Edmonton. We need to call out the corruption. We need to use the powers that we have in this country to stop those who are profit profiting from the do you hear what he said? They are going to use their power. In that their country they are, which is UK, to fight the corruption against those in UK they are benefiting in that contraction that they are making you people to be poor. If this man, his ancestors is not from India, he can never in this life open his mouth and be telling you this. This is, that is why we tell you that Forget about slave trade. There is some good, they have some many good Europeans that will come and give you a hint about your problem so that you can be able to fix it by yourself. But you are not going to do anything. Now you understand what a prime minister is telling you. MP, UK MP is telling you this now. Not a black man. Now let us continue. The wealth <coughs> of that great nation and hiding it here. It's not a great now, nation. Some people remember when General Gowan yes. left Nigeria yes. with half the central bank, so it is said, and moved to London. Yes. We know that today, even, even Carry all the whole money. in this great city of ours, there are, <coughs> sadly, some people who have taken from the Nigerian people yes. and hidden their ill-gotten gains here. They, taking from, banks, they are sadly, taking from Nigerian people and bringing it. Also, he's telling you now, the, your representatives, your governors are stolen from their own people and bringing it to England, UK, to hide the, 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 the money. And the UK people are also accepting them. It's a fraud. They don't care. They don't care if you go and kill your people and brought the money and bank it there. Who cares? That is what this man is telling you. They are going to change it. They want to do something so that you people can also be free. Let us continue have been used for that profit and for that illegal transfer. Are that you business. listening? Illegal and that transfer. means that the UK is in an almost unique position in being able to actually do something okay. to really exert pressure on those 
who have robbed Nigerian people. Who have robbed Nigerian people. Now this puts a particular onus on the minister, and I know my right honourable friend <coughs> knows it, that using Magnitsky sanctions today isn't just about protecting Nigeria, although it is. It's not just about respecting Nigerian young people who have been robbed and murdered by these SARS units. It's actually about protecting the United Kingdom. Because what happens in Nigeria matters fundamentally to us here. Yes. This is the third country. Do you know the reason why the man said so? If this man is a real, a British man, he can never tell you this. He can never. He tell you the growth of Nigeria is very, very important to the British people. British people, are, you see, they are surviving from the mineral resources that are coming from that contraption every single day. The man is telling you the truth. But he left for you now to act. He left for you. Are you going to listen? But I, I, I myself have been saying, that is why sometimes I will be saying, some people are saying, why should you abusing your people? Why should you using some word? Because I want to, this thing to sink in their mind. But now, the white man that you are waiting for now is telling you the same thing that I have been saying for seven years ago, eight years ago. That Nigeria is a mainstream business of British people. British people are those that put you in this poverty you are today. They don't want the democracy in Nigeria, the one they, they brought to you people. They don't want it to stand. They're practicing things different in their home, but they brought something, they, I mean, demonstration of craziness. That is what they brought to you, demonstration of craziness. But they are practicing what is democracy in their land. That is why every time election came, you will see smashing of ballot balls, killing people, destruction of souls and properties. Tell me if such a thing is happening in, in, Britain, in Britain. Those people that brought you this. No, it can never. It's free and fair. Let us continue. The Commonwealth. This is a country of 200 million people. 200 million It is people. going to be the great economic powerhouse of Africa and one of the great economic powerhouses of the world. This is a country whose wealth, not just in the oil off the river state, but in the imagination of cre and creativity of its people is witnessed every day in Nollywood and perhaps more my style at the great University of Joss. This is a country that gives so much to the world already, despite the fact that it is ill-governed, brutalized and robbed. Just imagine what it could give if the plateau state all right, now you have listened to your problem. <laughs> Are you going to still doubt it? The answer is no. Now let us move to to what uh, what his name um, Julius Malema said, and a South African man said, Julius Malema. He said, "We are going to read it out, and all of you are going to read it out with me." If a South African man a person that is part of the, I mean, the, 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 he, he is a parliamentarian in South Africa, can understand what is happening in that contraption. But you, as a citizen, as indigenous of that contraption, don't even understand anything at all. That is when I'm telling you that I don't know what is wrong with our own people. I don't know what is wrong with them. Now, we are going to read what Julius Malema said. I don't want to lie. I want us, you people, to see it first. If you people can be able to read it, I don't know. Maybe because of this, uh, okay, you people can see it. I want you people to read it before I will read it out. I want you people to read it. After watching Nigerian election, I am still wondering the reason why Nigeria are still living together as a country. Nigeria hate themselves so much, but find it difficult to separate peaceful. Julius Malema. Let me read it very clear here because I could not get it well. After watching 2023 Nigerian election, 
I am still wondering that Nigeria, I am st I'm still wondering the reason why Nigeria is still living together as a country. Nigeria hate themselves so much, but find it difficult to separate peacefully. Julius Malema, South African political, po politician. Now you understand. <laughs> but when you tell our people, especially the Igbo speaking Biafra, you tell Peter Obi, Peter Obi, Anna Akwas, Lena Abogale. See, a man from South Africa understood this, but Peter Obi in Nigeria don't. And now you tell me that, you want to tell me that thing, our head is working. You want to tell me now, are you not Alamajiri? Are you not Alamajiri? Now let us move also forward because uh, I'm not coming here to lie to you. Now before we go to, before we go to the next one, I want to let you know that Miracle have started in a, now let us see this video about Biafra Man. You will see that we have been marginalized. We have been marginalized, not today. All these things that our people are saying, uh, let us try it to be. The one thing about black people is like they are not, they are not consistent or they, they are not consistency in what we be, they believe. You have to be consistency. That is when you will get what you want. That is when you will get what you want. I told our people, we could have get things right. This Igbo president you are talking about, Peter Obi could have been giving this Igbo president, I mean, just like that. If they do, they did in it. When they discharge Martin Nam the Cannon, that is when these people supposed to come on a round table said, no, we have to push for this man for the release of this man. By pushing the release of this man, they will give it to him. Say, come, come, come. Be like, say, we won't put Gary for our distance. Oh yeah, take. But because of lack of understanding and the stupidity of our people, we not allow them to come as a one people. Full and is every time they will come as a one people. Isn't it? What is his name? Tambua released his vote. To Atiku. Why can't to be just on weekend release his vote to to Peter Obi? Now you understand. Our people don't raise it. Now let us see uh what uh, before we go. No, 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 I don't want to uh, no, let me go before I will come there. A a Biafra man, we are going to listen to what this man said. You will know that uh, the it's not today they started killing us. I want you to see the video. This is the, this is it now. You will see it. When you see this video, let me, let me show you a little bit so that you will see that this video is not a, a today's video. You see it? It was a black and white. You will see the person that is interviewing the person and uh, we are going to, I'm going to play it so that it will show. For people to see. Now, let us play the video so that you will see. It's not too much, but you will see that they have started killing us. Not today. Now, let us listen to this video, please. Let us listen. Let us listen. I want you to be seeing the video because it's not much. Because of some of you that are saying that uh, uh, you don't know when they started killing you. That is why we are telling you they started killing Biafran people in 1945. And up to date, they are killing us. They massacred our people in northern part of Nigeria because of one man. Now, listen, listen, I want you to listen. Listen. The moment experiencing jungle justice, which is the justice of might is right, because we are under an economic blockade, we are yeah. under a propaganda blockade, we are under a diplomatic blockade. Nobody sees. Uh, what we are suffering, nobody hears what we are suffering, and as a result of that, the wrong story is presented to the world. We are not heard, and therefore we cannot be judged except on the basis of the lies being told about us. When we have been able to overcome this jungle justice and we are heard, then we will then get the civilized justice.
because our case will be brought into the open. And once a case into the, is in the open, you cannot play tricks. We are now victims of blackmail because we are being suppressed, we are being muzzled. But you still fight on. We fight on, oh yes. We are. Hello? Now, now, now you understand. Do you get it now? That is 1963. That is uh, 1969 to 1970. When they are killing Biafran people, they brocade the, the, the water, the sea, the fools. Our people turn to Kwashiok. And the narrative that BBC and British people are giving the world that we are rebels. That Ojuku is the one that caused the war. That is why Mazen Namdekan told us, now we have come. We should not allow anything to distract us. We have done with he do. We have done with infiltrators. Those of them that are coming with code of conduct, we have done with them. Where are they today? Are they still writing? The answer is no. Because the election have come and gone. They have taken their own share. What are they going to say again? Nothing. They are now mute. The one they call Madam Finance is still here. Is still, or, or can I, or can I watch her? You can't hear her again. Because we are putting her on her place. We are just waiting for Mazen Namdekano because our leader is still alive. Let him come out. Let us finish what remains. Because she must, brought, she must bring back all our money. And she must audit whether she like it or not. We are just keeping quiet because Onyindu is still alive. Ask her how many people are putting the money in that, uh, their stupid account they brought out. Who is going to put money there? She opened her mouth. She opened her mouth, say that it's not answerable to Mazishike Dozim because you are sitting on top of our money that we contributed. You don't want to audit, you don't want to be accountable to anybody. She came on Radio Piaf and opened her mouth that say her royalty is only to Mazin Namdekan. And some idiots are there clapping for her. That is why you see we don't reason. We don't understand that an absence of a leader, an absence of a president, there must be a vice president controlling because of the hatred, because she's sitting on top of money. Why the money is not yours. That is why I tell you the way of black people is what I don't understand. And the Mazen Namikano say that we are whiter than white, whiter than stuff. We are going to change everything. You see this new account when Onyindu will come out. Believe you me, there is no impossible in this life for only one person to be there and sign it. It can never, it can never happen. It can never happen. I want you people to wait. Mazen Namikano is my leader. But we have a lot of questions. As we, as we, we will be back and we are going to change the narrative. And whenever they are bringing money, only one person can never sign it. It's impossible. The one that Madame Finance did was just a mistake. We are not involved. Because Onyendu was out here with us. We don't know what is going on on the ground. But today, we thank God. You see this thing that happens to Onyendu is opening eyes to all of us. We have op Our eyes have opened. And we have seen behind the Panwan Tapa. And believe you me, when Onyendu will come out, Oyendu will learn a lot of things. Because you are going to use your past mistake to correct the one that is coming in front of you. We are going to change a lot of things. We are going to change. And this time around, there is no more. You are putting money. You gave us money. They make you a coordinator. It can never happen again. It can never. It cannot. On this struggle that we are, that we have come. Count me among those people that are going to stand firm with a big questions. Big questions. Now you understand. We went to protest here in Germany, isn't it? 
in Musta. Did you see any of them there? The answer is no. Madam Finance is not there. Eze Bureau is not there. Master Profit is not there. They send one idiot, one of their boy. I captioned him. They sent me a message. They told me that Eze Bureau is the one that sent this guy. Then I asked myself, are you sending this guy to come and do what? To know if we are doing protests or not? Why are you sending him? Why can't you come to yourself? Nobody is going to touch you. We are living in Germany. We are in Germany where there is a human right. You don't touch anybody anyhow. You don't touch anybody anyhow. That is why you have to come in solidarity with your, with your brother. You that the Madame Finat in solidarity with your leader. The one that called himself Master Prophet in solidarity with your in-law. Why can't you people there? Why, why are you people not there? Why? Because of the stupidity and idiocy in you people. Uh, Mazichi Kedozem is the one that uh, gives the order for the protest. And you have forgotten that this protest is for Mazin and Kani to be free. And the, also the freedom of Biafran people. And you are telling me you love Biafran people. Madam Finance will come on social media. What you are going to be hearing, money, money, money. Ndi akubo South Africa never pay. Oyendu said, Oyendu uh, directed from Oyendu, uh, South Africa, you are going to close the bank. Mazen Namdekano said, the bank that uh, finance don't see is not a nonsense. That is nonsense. I call it nonsense. We are winning now. We are winning. We hold our money till Onyindu comes. We hold our money till Onyindu comes. If the leadership did not bring account, we are not going to send any money to any place. We are not going to. I trust my zone. We are not, and I trust the national coordinator we have in the person of Mars Collins. We hold our money. We is not going anywhere. In our common sense. Now let us continue. I want to tell you people because only in our land we don't have men again. Mostly our representatives, they are impotent. I want to tell you people that the first time they caught only the first people that protest in Biafra land are Omoada. That is the real Omoada. Not all this Omoakata. I haven't forgotten. I will play you O to Simon Eba Na Keafia Azoka. Useless today. Is useless. Umu will be useless today. I will play the voice. But let me show you people. Should in case if only do stay out, you will see there is power. Our women's are resolute. There are many men. They couldn't even bring this idea. A woman, that is why we say that we are the first people that introduce democracy in this earth. And we are the first people that give rights to our women. When this woman was speaking, everybody stands still. They are telling her, yes. In this thing that is happening in Lagos, he told them, it is a time for us to defend ourselves. And now begin to plan to move down to our land. It's enough. It's enough. None of them. Or Hanezen they are thrown Lagos. Never say this to them. Or Hanezen di ukuneme opu na na kafanchai. Abuja never say this. But a woman, a woman. That is why we say we love our women. We love our women. You know, sometimes some people will say uh, when I talk to all those Lagos people, you think that we, we respect our when you respect yourself, we respect you. Now let us go to our. Our mother. That is those they call mother. You will listen to what this 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 woman is telling our people in the heart of Lagos. No man, no man have ever told our people this, apart from a woman. Apart from a woman. Apart from a woman. Hi. Chukugozie wanyamanama. Adoma. Adoma. Ada. Ada. Ihebo bada. Ihebo bada. Ihebo bada. The video is not clear, probably because of their phone. Because of their phone. This is the woman here. 
this is the woman here. You see the woman. She out men's run the woman up. Men's run her up. Men's run her up. Now we are going to listen to the woman. Men's run her up. And you believe you me, I'm not going to I'm not going to say anything at all in this video till they finish the video. The the, the, the voice because I'm not going to speak anything. But I want you people to pay very big attentively. You will hear where they are, where this thing is happening. Things that is not right. You will listen by yourself. You will hear where the woman is talking about. You will listen attentively and the area the woman is calling. Now let us pay attention. I This is who they call Omoada. A strong woman. This woman you, see, you will just listen to to her voice. Is a very very strong woman. He called the men. He told them. Ugebre gonambabu. It's a time for us to go back to our place. Onye dindo. Boyne huku property. If your own is gone, she said, she told them, those people that have died in this problem in Lagos, that people will be cost to our people. And they have properties. Are they going to still live in that house? The answer is no. The woman told them, they are not going to kill us the way they killed us in 1916. Let us begin to go. Let us organize ourselves. For some of you that will be there saying that this thing never got to my place. I want you people to just know. Now, let us go. Let us go. You know, I told you people that miracle have started in a in a Miracle have started in northern part of Nigeria. Miracle. Full and in amazing miracle. And uh, do you know the worst part of it? The worst part of it that the, the, the Christianity in that zoo called Nigeria will be telling you that uh, they are all fake. Full and have learned Awasa people are also, they have learned. Muslim people, they have learned. Because that is why to tell you that all these things is arranging. They have learned. And when you people will see this video now, some of you that are going to all this, uh, this idiot that is a full animal, 
a Muslim that turned to Christian, Kafiad, uh, Suleiman, that was kneeling down, praying for Ukraine, and they are killing the people today in that contraption. He could not do anything. Suleiman is a very big time idiot, a stupid man for that matter. Have he jailed the woman that they were doing something? Why in our bobble on our Pioco? Why in our bobble on our Pioco? You will see his congregation, they will come out and begin to dis defend a stupid and non entity. The same thing we Bukobi is doing to our people today. A Bukobi and our and our gagari. Reading people's palm. Na kono sense. Na kono sense. Every day, put a fear or a picture. A picture of a, a person who green ass. Map of death. So no, 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 no. Open. I go go more a He in a mean a me make it. You a useless man. Oh, car a woman manager with a picture near the car. Map of beer. Use your picture near the car. That is a broker that I watch from Ikenga. As no uh, chief uh, priest. That guy is a real teacher. That guy can teach. The guy is telling you the reality. Even though the guy explained to you that all these things that you are seeing with the green eyes is supposed, supposed to put your color. It's your color person is there. But you will see that they will carry person post everywhere. And I clear some of you that don't know anything you will be there yapping. They are telling you what you don't know. But you are there getting confused. Now, let us see the miracle in northern part of Nigeria. Ndi muzini yemezi miracle. Ako, ishono, ebu kobi ishono nani amwe medistin. Oko oru wana nana, oru go, oru wana nana, oseti yana. Ma, jono ebu kobi keifa haka bonka. Jono, keifa haka bonka. Eh, Apostol Johnson Suleiman, idiot. Jono ya keifa haka bozi this one na. Okay, let us go. Let us go. Let me stop it. Let me stop it. Are you now beginning to understand there is no power in all this nonsense? Now you understand it. And if you see these people that are going to Suleiman, they are going to Ebu Kobi and rest of them. Odumejen are going on a very soon near but I believe that that in Odumeje I don't believe on it. Odumeje have lost a lot of followers. He trying to do something to bring people back because they have left Odumeje. Rita, Rita, feminine men Rita have left Odumeje now. Ebon or Abon Zion, because their 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 mission is over. 
Odumeje time is over. Imane in ihe na eme na na ba anya ibo everything na season. Onye bi owu ona na akori. Mbaka, I na kana no mbaka na. Odume eh ibuko bi have taken over mbaka. Oku ward. Oku na afu ga ebe ndi Muslim na atu ajọ mu ona ona eme uno na anya ana ma atu asa. But those people that are going to do church, they will tell you this one is fake. Our own is true. Una na eme nkogiri. Bamun, can you tell me here because be name? Or only this thing, this thing that the Bukobi is doing. All this thing is arranging. They are all arranging nothing. These people has no power. Just using our people. They will read your palm and tell you maybe what is going to happen tomorrow. Is okay. When you come to him, he will only hang on That is reading of palm. It's here in Europe. They call it zodiac signs. And those people, they will never tell you that. They will tell you it's a, just a traditional, a power that energy. They I don't know how they. You know, there's energy also. But it's not from Chukwuki Kabiama. They read palms here. They are zodiac signs. They will tell you the future. Mostly in the name of Egana, something like Bulgaria. All these uh, gypsies, them. They are reading palms in Bulgaria. Go to Bulgaria, they will tell you. They will tell you what we, but all these things, I don't believe in all those nonsense. Now you understand. Let me read what uh, Christianity is telling you. I have no problem with people. But there is something I want you people to understand that Christianity in that contraption, they are weak. That is our problem. The same Christianity you called yourself in Israel, they are also Christianity. But you see them carrying their sticks every single day. Nah, gagali. You go to, to what they call it, Germany that I am today. They are Christian country. They use their gun. Nah, bagali. You go to England people that brought you the, the what they call it, they brought you um, Anglican. They are one of the world power. They have a, what they call it, uh, what they call this thing, uh, man destruction. They have man destruction, a bomb of man destruction, but they are Christian. They use it to defend themselves. But when you come to Africa, they will tell you, fold your hands and God will do. The same thing that Ebu Kobe is there, yapping, talking all sorts of rubbish. Instead of him to, you know, collect money from people, Go from back, get our people something, tell them to go and walk. On They are all weak. And some of you that are putting white man with a green eyes, calling him Jesus, you are very stupid. I'm telling you, you are stupid. You knows nothing. You knows nothing. Go to Ethiopian, I mean, all this act of Ethiopia. Go there. You will see the paintings of those people that you call uh, Elijah, you call uh, this one. Their painting was all black. But we are trying to tell you what you don't know. You are there, you want to carry it. Saying that uh, this one have done this. Now they are killing our people. Why can't you because we pray to stop it? Why? Why he cannot stop it? Why he cannot stop the fight? I don't believe, let me tell you people, because sometimes we, some people will say, uh, then we, I don't believe in all this juju. That is why you see what they call him. What have they done? Okwa one come out last time. Where is him today? Ana kogiri akogiri. I believe in our ancestors. Let us keep things right. Let us go and believe in ourselves. Let us get our own religion. That is where I stand. And when we get our own religion, our religion will teach us one name, oh, to our religion was before. That is why before, when you go, you ask your ancestors, they will tell you, they never lock their door. That is our way of life. You don't take 
nonsense. You don't take it. They will never tell you to fold your hands. When things happen, things will do it straight away. And that is how the Europeans are doing today. If you counter them, they come to you. That is why today in Russia they are fighting. That is why today in Middle East they are still fighting. They don't believe in Jesus Christ to come from heaven and begin to fight for them. They are ready to fight the battle. That is why we are telling you that the Christianity in Africa, they are all weak. And we don't need it. We need something that when it happens to us, we will gather ourselves, stop telling you, let us go and pray. No. Let us gather ourselves and get something to defend ourselves. That is what we are talking about. Are you going to be Christian than Pope? Are you Christian than Rome? Today, in, 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 in Rome, in this fight they're having in uh, Ukraine and Russia, or Russia and Ukraine, the, the Italian people, they are supplying ammunition to, to, to Ukraine to help them. They are not praying for them, oh, not prayer. They are supplying them something they need. That is exactly what we are talking about. For some of you that don't understand, you stop in that week of your Christianity that never leads you to any place. Sometimes you will say, hey, something has happened to you. What happens to you? What miracle has happened to you? You, you a kind of a man that so much love women. Isn't it? You go to church now. They told you that you stop carrying women that you, will pro you, pro you progress in life. So you don't know before. That if you have a 10 girlfriends that you spend for them, when you now, you know, discharge nine of them and have only one, don't you know that your money will be high? You don't know about that. So you don't know before. Somebody will come and tell you that your mother is doing you, your father is doing you, and you are believing the person. Only in Africa they will be telling you, I never come in Europe that tell you that your father is doing you. Now let us read what our apostle Idiot Suleiman said. Idiot Suleiman said. Idiot Suleiman. An, an, an idiotic man. Before I will go to Kunle and one alaj which is Shetima, you will see all those things that they said is begin to happen. You are there folding. There is a one pastor in Abuja that I have told people to follow that man. A pastor in pulpit, he has AK-47 telling you that this is what we need. They, that I told you people, go and follow that pastor. If you don't know, go and follow the pastor. Pay tight to that man because for that man, in his preaching, in his church, having AK-47, if that man have more money, he will be buying AK-47 to every one of them. So go to that church. This is the church you're supposed to go. This is the church you're supposed to go. Not to let us go have fasting and pray. Let us go to fasting and pray. Deary, deary. I got no quite here. Ebuko ge oga, oge wiko oga na. Mako, this is how they... They play their own roles. They will come on here with Shona. Odumejena e will shago. Optana na e kogeli a kogeli. Na very soon ni aga na. Odumejena atu aso mwe hebo na aga. E ha ona eme ebo ka people we shi gata azo. O mwen kwa nan ka a basa ale. O kwa ada, ada Jesus o mwen ba. A very young lady. O kwa oge ha na emen kogeli. Kwa se ya bonita ada Jesus o bonita le ya. Did he, did he wake ada Jesus? Till ada Jesus die. There is no power in all those nonsense. See what Suleiman wrote. <coughs> Idiot. 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 That is the work of Suleiman. Let us read what Suleiman said. Anyone trying to, anyone with intentions to tear us apart, we fail. Not east, west, south, we are all one and we will remain so. Okay, forgive. That is the reason why I told you that those things that you are practicing in that contraption are fails. So you want to tell me now that we are one people. Now let me continue. We are all brothers and sisters. And we will keep doing all to stay united. <laughs> what bind, uh, what bind is a way stronger than those trying to divide us. 
we are one nation under God. So you want to tell me now, as you now call yourself a Christian from Biafra land, so now you are telling me that you and Suleiman are the same now. Is it what you want to tell me? So you want to tell me that you and Suleiman are the same? Listen, I want you people to understand. We have, we are here in Europe. I know that most of our people that are saying all this nonsense, they are living in Africa. Believe you me, when you come to Europe, you will understand. Thank God that we, we scattered all over the world and we begin to understand the way of our life. We have to go back to our root. Let me explain to you when we are saying going back to our root. Some people have forgotten before our people accepted Christianity, there was a massacre of our people. There was killing. Christian, they forced us to become a Christian. They will preach to you. Do you do? He say no, they will kill you. And some people don't understand this. They don't even know that there was a killing for you to accept Christianity. They must kill, they kill millions of our people for them to accept. Now they, they see that the, the, the power is too much because these people that come with guns and bullets and we don't have all these things. Our people accepted by force. Christianity we are seeing today is by force. They did not come in peace. And now you are telling me that this is what we want. Nah, eh. That is why you have to go and read the history of this Christianity. Now those people that killed you for you to become a Christianity now come back now. Tell you that they, they, they want to help you to go to heaven. And you are there believing them. Before Christianity come, came to our place, don't we have our own way of life? That is what we want to go back to. Let us get our religion. That is why Oyendu said, our religion is Biafra. And I accept it. Because Biafra is the kingdom of Chuko Kikiabiam on this earth. That is what we are talking about. Forget about all this nonsense. So that when you have to face reality, when problem comes, you face your problem. Nobody will tell you to go and pray. Dearly, dearly. Let us go to to you, Kunle and uh, Kunle and uh, and Alaj. What is happening today in Lagos? Kunle and Alaj. Dearly, dearly. If you people don't know, you will not you will know. See what is happening to Nigeria. Let me play Kunle and Alaj. And that is exactly what is happening today. Uh, Kule, Monsieur Kule, stop, shut up. Okay, they just started. <coughs> oh, yeah, listen. I said, do you remember one time when our people were being killed in Borno State, left and right? Yes. I remember Kule. Of course. I remember. I remember. You were saying that was there any thousander among us? We were the one killing ourselves. I always remember this statement, Mr. Kule. But look at this today now. Today, our brother is in charge. And I'm sure he made it clear to the world. The first thing he said was that he was moving the command of the Nigerian army to Maiduguri and even Boko Haram is over. Are yeah, you listening? So if not your brother as the president, who will do it for you? But we, we could have done it to anybody in Nigeria. But you can see that some people refuse to do it for us. Um, so really, really, today I understand why we have to have the presidency, honestly. Yeah. Uh, no, it's like that, Kule. Kule is like that. <laughs> because how can anybody convince us that some miscreants eh, mm. cannot be dealt with by with Niger, by Nigerian army. Why can we believe it was deliberately left? Even if there is no involvement of government hand in it, why can we believe that it was deliberate? Let them kill themselves. Well, it has come out even very clear because it was at a point in our campaign they were saying that uh, by the killings of Boko Haram, there will be no population again. Are you seeing it? Let me tell you why they not insisted that Jonathan has to go because. We had the plan that if Jonathan continues, the same problem will happen in Kano, the same problem will happen in Sokoto, the same problem will happen in just an Ebro until when our population is depleted. No, no, no. We have had a wonderful experience, honestly. In order to avoid the problem, that's what I have said before. So whether he has said or not, Kule, the laws was, it was clear what he now. What could he have done? Remember what the Abangida did for us. Abangida, Abangida. You see, what happened was, even when Babangida did it, do you understand? 
Uh, do you get me? The bulk of the population that voted was from the north. And really, we are first Yorubas. You are first Yoruba before you are a Muslim, you are a Christian or Nigerian. Yes. So or not yes. so? Yeah, you are right. Abi? Okay. Yes, you are right, right. Now, all along, a Yoruba man, whoever he is, whether Muslim or Christian, preferred anybody in this house to rule him than a house man from the north. That's the truth about it. So, fortunately, I'm coming, sir. Let, learn, let me learn. Fortunately, Pay attention. The, uh, yes, the center sir. is controlled by no Muslim, no Northerners. Are, are you getting me? And yes. Jonathan, fortunately for the North, Jonathan decided to use religion and slice the Yorubans to the extent, for the first time, for the first time, Yorubans were divided religiously. To the extent, Muslims Yorubans stood their ground and said, they were not supporting Jonathan. They even refused to attend the meetings of the Jonathan. You are, the papers are there. Their statements are there in the papers. So or not so, sir? Uh, no, I like you. Ah, it is there. No, I like you. They there. will tell you why they are they killing our people. Will, because if there are some few Muslim leaders... It will be heard this uh, voice. The Supreme Council of Islam Islam of Western Nigeria or Yoruba land came out clearly. Okay, okay. I think uh, we are going to do that video tomorrow. I'm going to talk about the autopilot and uh, what they call it because I have no time. It's going to be tomorrow broadcast. So I want you people to come. So we are going to listen to them. And said no, they disagreed. Do you get me? We know the population of Yoruba close to 80% or let's say close to 60% are Muslim. This man consulted the national conference. Do you get, this is the Yoruba that was saying it all. We read it and we had them saying it. Yes. So they have succeeded in dividing the Yoruba themselves. Now, two, two, the humiliation, whatever they did to us, our own was that let them kill, kill us and reduce our population. Stop but listening. at least they still know that we are significant politically and they allowed us to maintain some position. But in the case of Yoruba, they were sliced out of the whole system. So or not so? Not so I like that was how Tinibu and Do you have a book while I'm even talking about Buka? It's not from the South now. I am coming now. Let me forget about Boko Haram now. We brought about the Yoruba politics. Now, Tinibu and the Yoruba generally carried yes. what happened to them and went to Kaduna and met them in yes. Kaduna and begged them that we have to put our head together. Look, sir, let me tell you the truth and find out. At yes. a point, the Yoruba being humiliated under Jonathan were even considering to cut off and put their Oduba Republic. But they realized if they do that, the Igbos were completely in charge of finance civil service, security, and everything. If they now dare do not, that... Now he's not dying. Not exactly, dying. exactly. I'm coming now. The Yoruba no, now... He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't benefit at all. I, I'm coming, yes. The Yoruba yes. at the point, the Yoruba intelligence at the point realize that if they cut off, the Igbos will finish them. If yes. they stay as it is and Igbo continue ruling, they will be completely finished. Before Jonathan, significant part of the economy who are the accountants are Yorubas? Who are the judiciary and lawyers are Yorubas? Who are the civil service are Yorubas? Today you can't find any one of them. So or not so? That is. So that's why the Yorubas say, even if we want to leave this country, we must get this power out, out of the hand of the Igbos and reposition yes. ourselves. You know, they're not really benefited from that, you know, that too much. Hey, what we, have, we have the calculations of the economy. We agree. Why, why, what can you do? He must this is a, a two years video. He wouldn't do uh, a two he years must. old video. He knows that we can do it. He must deal, deal with us. So that was why the Europa said no. What I mean, is like it? So but what I assure you, let me keep on praying for uh, President Debo. I, I, I Oga, we have learned our lesson. We have been in our area here now. They be praying for him to, to we, have, we have we have learned our lesson, Kule. We we pray for the and, daughter, and, and, and even our daughter. No, to to tell you the truth. The yes. north, the northern people, not we stand yes. in the presidency. Honestly, yes. the trust at least of the south is finished. And I assure you too, in your yes. land, yes. listen yes. to me. Yes. I am yes. coming. Yes. I am yes. coming. Yes. I am coming. Yes. 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 I am coming, please. Yes. Yes. Listen to me. Not that yes. 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 We don't need anybody in this country. They help themselves. Let me ask you a question, sir. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Between cars. Industries and human beings who are more in number. I do not know. Ah, not not number. Not I'm not, not talking of population. I'm talking of you economy now. now. Population. Census. Okay. Cars, car, 
car, the models that we drive, yes, and industries that we have, yes. if you put them on one part and you put human beings on the other part, who are more in number? Let me pick this card ah. before I continue. Hello, who is this? Oh, okay, okay, one name. You shall you go? Ngwan can finish this thing and borrow the other. Uh, it's one of my brothers. Cars are more than human beings. Woman is a more. Uh, Kunle is an, an idiot. Kunle is an idiot. If you put fuel and food by the side, which one is consumed more? Food uh, now. In food now. Good. And we have food. So yeah. people are actually helping themselves. Let me tell you, even in your Bala, let me tell you what they will do to give this. Yeah. What yeah. Obama of Lagos said that we are pushing them to the ocean. Most of these markets that are banned in Lagos, look at this. They are, are you listening? Markets. They are going. They, 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 they are. They, in fact, some Yoruba were telling me when I was in Lagos last weekend that it is we, the Northerners, when we are in charge of Lagos as federal capital, that open room for evils to come and dominate them. And it's over now. It's and over. It's over. <laughs> All the businesses evils are doing, we are going to bring it and do it. <laughs> you get me? Fashion lab, yeah, for, fashion lab for the past for the past five years have been used mm. to approve any industry, especially pharmaceutical, to Igbo people. Find out. You are, you are right. I get you. You are right. Get me. You are right. So, the Eurobus in these four years, that's what we are telling us. If we in the North want to be useless again, let us be. But the Yoruba people in the four years, they want to control their land completely. That's why Buhari have to sign that Lagos is going to be given special status. Mm. You see what is happening we in Lagos today? We kind of semi-regional system. Lagos is going to have special status. It means nobody again will control Lagos. The indigenous of Lagos are the ones that are going to control Lagos. They can. F now, do you understand what uh, FFAK is telling you? None of you can smell any position in Lagos. This is a leaking tape between Shetima, the vice president to Tinubu, today was having this conversation with this man two years ago. That is when I, after I listened to this broadcast, this leaking tape, that is why I made a broadcast that was also last two years or three years telling people that Tinubu must be a president. Tinubu will win the president. He will. And he did today. Land policies. Do you get me? They may decide to say, you as a European man in Lagos, you will pay 5,000 naira for a land as general man right me as a house man i will pay ten thousand naira evil man will pay one million naira are you listening <laughs> this is why they're heading for you get me so the, uh, now unfortunately again the attitude of the evils have made the illiterate northerners who have not gone to school to realize now i said they are powerful they are the one who get these people land let me stop it here let me call my brother we are going to continue also tomorrow let me call my I brother so he can speak all this thing that is happening to our people, our people don't want to learn. I hope that the message that our brother, our mother gave to them, I hope they are going to listen and take it and begin to go back to their land. If you go back to your land, believe you me, when your business starts, as far as you are in Nigeria, I'm telling you people this. Let me give you this tip. You Igbo people in Lagos doing business, a mega business. If you can transfer all this, your business down to Biafra land, believe you me, in next two years, three years, if you demand for seaport, believe you me, it can happen. Because your business is there. That is when you will demand something, it will happen. How can you have all your business in northern part of Nigeria, have in Yoruba land, and now you are demanding for seaports. You have to move down there. If things doesn't work, you will see billionaires in Biafra land that they will gather money and build it for themselves. And put it, you know, they are going to be taking the money little by little from the people. It happens everywhere. The lucky deep seaport they are building in Lagos isn't Tinubu owned. Only one person built it. So if you get billionaires that are doing business in Nigeria, 10 of them can build this seaport. 
and be collecting small, small money till their generation to generation. Gen but our people want the money now, now. And when you die, you'll just, let me call my brother, please. Mazakas. Hello, Mazakas. Yes, the floor is yours, Mazi. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope I'm coming out loud and clear. Sound, crystal sound and clear. Okay, um, the general himself, uh, Mazi, um, before I will proceed, I will just want to congratulate you because uh, we are live uh, at the at the protest in Germany and uh, we saw your good work and how fanatical and resolute they were in the struggle. They were despite the plans of the enemy to 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 ridicule the work we are doing, but you still standing strong. They were As in, we appreciate all your work. Thank you. And uh, at the end of this tunnel, every eye will see what you guys have done and give all glory back to Chuko Kabiam. Because uh Nalo, Gikaka is not a fight that man can do with his mind. But as a Chuko Kabiam has made you people so so strong and so you know tireless in this job. You know, yeah. is who never lived in this Europe would not know how how tedious it is for you to go to your work, take care of your family, broadcasting, bringing what the enemy is doing to our people to the world for them to know how how our people have been caged. You know, uh, who don't know this thing who think it's an easy job. Yes, even to sit down to talk for one hour, let somebody try it and see if your throat will not choke. But all these things, you guys never learn these things. Nobody taught you people how to do these things. But necessity brought you people to this, what you guys are doing today. Really, sometimes when I begin to calculate at my loss, that is why I fight any idiot who will come to who will come to say nonsense about this work people have taken as a mantle. And the and the Maziakas. 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 Maziakas, I will tell you that what is pushing me, and I believe uh, is also the same thing that is pushing the others, uh, comrades that are doing this uh, broadcast, is because of what happens to our people in 1967 to 1970. We have no media. We are no, we, we, nobody knows about what is happening to Biafran people. That is why we take it upon ourselves, especially a person like me, without getting paid from anybody, and I said that I will do this. I will do this. I will do this. Mazi, continue, please. Yes, my brother. You know, um, it's not that, uh, you know, our people used to say, you know, we are just saying this thing to let you people know that the work you guys are doing, your fans will appreciate your good works. And we must say it, even if people don't want to be, you know, hearing such because Biafra has not come, but we must keep on letting you people know that their friends are watching, their friends are seeing the good work you guys are doing, and we are happy about it. And Mazi, do you know what I think sometimes? I think that this thing you guys are doing, including me, that you gave this plus, uh, platform to speak, Mazi, I believe those that are dead or somehow we've been re reconnected, we'll be, we are killed in, during the time of Biafra, and somehow we reconnected. And continue to do that, do that work for sure. Because for sure. It's, uh, somebody that is normal cannot do this thing. You're sure you're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. yes. You're right. That is true. Because when you watch these so called zoological Nigerians and also living in this western world where we are, sometimes when you hear their discussion, you get you, you will be thinking these two people are normal human beings. They are not. They are not. I, I'm telling you because what we see, they don't see it. We see ahead of whatever. They are even want, want to see in the two years' time. We are seeing it today. But this is why I tell you, Mazi, this is, we are not normal. Something, Biafra is, I mean, the spirit of those that they killed during the Biafra war that have jumped in, inside us. This is why even when the enemy are trying to cut the journal of you, 
uh, trying to do something that will make you even wicked, even the more they're doing it, the more stronger you guys become. Try, try. What you okay? The general, Mas I what? salute your courage, oh, what? and I salute all the courage of these media warriors, including us, which you guys have left at the gate of Biafra. Then at the end of the day, when you people are the, at the front fighting this war, we are at the gate waiting for enemy. Now they come to the top of their head and we, we are there. Everywhere we want to enter, we enter. The ones that don't enter will tell you, I do not to, if you want to struggle with us, we will give you IP of the This is why all of us are standing in this gate of Biafra. Defend, defending it so jealously. Because we can't allow the enemies to enter. This is the work we have taken. Even if I say we are not shaking our face in India, but we are the background. We are the weeks. Holding you people. Anyone who wants to touch you people have touch all of us. Mazi General, we yeah. must continue until our leader Mazi Nandi Kano will be set free. The way the soul has set him free unconditionally. I believe they you, Mazi. They have discharged him and acquitted him. They must really this innocent man who has opened our eyes today. They must release him because he has committed no crime. This is where we stand. Um, before I proceed watching again, I forgot to introduce myself to Jeffrey. Fellow Jeffrey's lovers of freedom, my name is Marzi Akas. And I'm calling from Austria and I am the, the IPOB Austria National Diabo. We are together in this fight. And we must, we must deliver. This pregnancy that we are carrying, we must deliver. You see? No, there's no other way because anyone that are pregnant must deliver one day. And this child must come because <laughs> it is impossible for us to stop what we are doing because we know the worst thing that can happen to us is to stop what we are doing today. Well, see, I want to go straight to what we are trying to teach our people today or the, the, the highlights we are trying to protect to, to our people because of what is happening today. Well, if you could remember what you know, that when our people went to build trade fair, they invited the, 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 the general Ojuku to come and you know, do the opening ceremony of that of that of that their 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 he told them he will go in half a year. He will go in half a year. He will go in half a year. Yes, we will. We have enough land in our place that we can be able to give you people to take this type of project in our time. And you people decided to go to make this and build this type of project again. Mazia, this is the ma, ma, Mazia Kass. Mazia Kass. Your line is fading a little bit. Uh, talk again. Let me see. Your line is fading. Talk again. Yeah, Mazi. Yeah, now it's good. Like this is good. Like this is good. Yes, like this is good. It, it's okay now? Yes, it's okay. Very clear. clear. Now it's good. Okay, okay, my brother. I want to retreat a little. I said, when our so, these are our so-called Igbo brothers that are making one Nigeria are saying they are Nigerians. They went to Lagos they buy an empty land, not that they gave them this land for free. They build a mega market in Lagos, this trade fair, they are, they, are, they, are, they are selling their goods to them. When they finish that building, they invited the, the general Ochuku to come and do the opening ceremony of that, that market. Ochuku came to Lagos and, she, and saw what our people build in Lagos. This man was was so annoyed that he don't know what to tell them. He, he was he was so furious at them and he told them, he shouted you go go the house here. Yeah, he said again, you go in the house here. This man, he called them. He told them that we have a land where we can get you people to build this type of mega market that you people decided to build such mega market in Lagos. But you people know that this market you build one day will be a trap on your neck. Because what they used to threaten our people is that when they know a little thing happened there, they would make it down for now, they will destroy their business and they will destroy the house. You will see an evil man be begin to panic like a child that has no boss, that has no scruples. 
I hope I wish. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, but Maziakas, 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 but uh, you know, say this, there is something that you ask me, will our people learn? I don't know, because this video of Kunle and Alaji, which is Shetima, is video that they, they, a leak tape that was two years ago. When uh, Shetima was telling the Yoruba people that Tinubu will become the president, and all the businesses of our people, they are going to destroy it. And now they will take over the business from Igbo people. Our people listening to this voice note by then, but they were laughing. This Bible story, I call it. As na job, si onye obo na batano obo. Fe obo gama monya obo, mama ya na kogi di fa na bayo. Si no asa batano obo, fa batano obo. Oruze ka mili bido zobe, fa na aboso. Ndi ba anye na aboso mili ma obo na mili ama zuba faro. They have been killing our people since 1945. But we can hear me today. After the Biafran genocidal war, within two years, our people run back again to Uguawosa. Ebe ebu 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 they are playing Jesus when their hands are full of locusts. They are trying to play Jesus in our front when their hands are full of locusts. But even the, the hand the touch at, at us is giving us the locusts. The eye they look, on, and they look at us is giving us the locusts. Coming close to us, they are giving us the locusts. Who is that idiot who we are full of? Even to come close to us, even to perceive the order, order of an evil man. This is how these politicians have ridiculed really our people in the front of Fulani that they cannot be able to go and defend their own people. They cannot even go to to to, to speak on our behalf. Mazia Kas. Mazia Kas. Mazia Kas, where is your where is your Hanez and where is John on the Angwood? Where is John? Or John only and went to Lagos uh, telling them if you before you kill full and they come and kill me. Because they promised John only and vice president. Where is John only and Those people that put us in this mess. John only and is nowhere to be found today. On a buona. On a buona. One hand on you. Obi, 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 Abia, Zene, Busi, Sum, one nine in Lagos. Because I will not lie about this. I have said it time with that number. Obi is my brother. But the problem that is happening today in Lagos is Obi that cause it. I got an IPOB. IP Obi. Obi kai Obi unya. Because on weke, in one weke no katana asi no one no obo. Somebody is involved. Somebody is the head. And who is doing all this in Pete Obi? We told Pete Obi, there is no road there. Obro today ke bi do illegal election. Nigeria election is selection. We have said this. We have told them. Even though during the time of Jonathan, Agba de Ande Agba, or quick funny hobby na cost na it will be cost the age when they buy in Lagos today and the one guy gets well because here Mazi Akas continue please. Yes, Mazi, you know, you know, in 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 this struggle we are, 
We try to settle the weather. Yes. We don't we don't try to bend it because if they like they should listen if they like they don't leave it. Now that they are they are killing people in Lagos, now they are asking them to go back home. Now they are burning their business, criticizing them, calling them all sorts of names. What what has uh, or be or be done or what has he said about all this? Nothing. 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 It's nothing. Mute. Nothing. He nothing. He nothing. has not uh, water any word. Nothing. And thanks to God, the God be on that. IPOB saw what is going to happen. We saw it. And we will draw. We will draw ourselves from this their selection called election. We saw it. We saw it. We saw it. And GIA has taken one of the most wisest decision. Now that we are pushing them, no election, no this, no that. The capital has been stood and said, we are not going to be so people in this cancellation because we knew that since the existing, existing, existing of Nigeria, right from 1914, the first election that, the democratic election that took place in Nigeria was rigged. British have taught Nigeria how to rig election and this thing has been has been in Nigeria over 60 years. How can a country who the first election was conducted as a democratic election after independence, or even before the independence, was rigged? How can you tell me that there will okay. be a credible election in Nigeria? It is impossible. And Peter will be know this. Peter will be know this. That it is prohibited. It's a calamity to allow an evil man to fool to, to, to allow an evil man to go inside after all. It's impossible. He knew. He knew about it. He just oh, be, oh, I, I'm why telling is he leading to our people to Oba, Oba Sonjo, Oba, you know. is leading our people to AI uh, by, by going to contest for, for presence of the zoo. And uh, and uh, Peter will be as uh him and all, all the, on our corner here, my friend. We have told them that Obi is still a boy. Just imagine he lost election, he began to cry. On a bakwa. On muka on a brakwa. Go ahead, on a bedrakwa. Okay, Bugatti. Buhari lost election. Dead Bugatti lost election almost five times. Did he cry? Obi after ne best also akwa. Oh, he's just looking at the internet. He my president in the internet. And I cost story. He got a go. Or Basanjo join Obi to deceive our people. Or Basanjo join Obi. To deceive our people because they want to destroy IPOB. OB want to destroy IP and that would OB want to destroy IPOB. What OB have said, he man has since H wage them as in Nanikan Obi Obi. He obi na bagari kampura ma se boy obo. O si ebo gaba ugua o sa jene mi tu she gumi. Nano between Boko Aram. Oh if you jana po jobi, tweet obi, he got na fe bebe hana che gumi. A terrorist in the konyaka. But when you are working with terrorists, or what you are about you, Mazia Kasi continue use you all like a, a five minute. Can I conclude? Oh, oh, hey, five minutes. Uh, yeah, Mazi, uh, yeah, yeah, Mazi, you have said it all. And um, what we are saying here is very clear that our people should know that Nigeria is not our place. Sure. Mazi, your your voice your voice begin to fade. Mazi, your voice begin to fade again. Change to get your phone. Um, um, all the market now. Yes, all the market now. Okay, okay, Mazi. I said, I, I said, our leader, Mazi Mandikano, have told our people, say in several broadcasts, in many occasions, that our people should come back home. Even the one that are in Uwausa, living in the north. They should come back home. And I know one. is not meant for you. The more you are trying to embrace Nigeria, the more debt that Nigeria will bring to you. You are right. You are right. Oh, my God. I know how no. How God. They don't do whatever they like. Now I sit here, here, here in this platform. Here on Radio Biafra, we will keep on analyzing how Nigeria is killing them. Now, sometimes I, 
Yeah, ma, 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 please, ma, 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 please, ma, 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 yeah, Marzi, yes, thank you for this correction. I was, I was talking about, also, we get our voice. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Ah, yes, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So, so, if they like, let them hear what we are saying. If they don't like, let them continue. But what we are saying here is that, Uh huh. Yeah, for killer. Even they, they don't even know. She says she's calling herself she's not evil. How idiotic she is. Basically, they want to kill you. They don't. They don't see you. They don't know whether you're evil. As far as I'm you don't look like them. They don't even say you're evil. Before you go talk, say I don't evil. I've been asked that. They don't kill yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Our own is gone. I never meant COVID. Earlier the better will. Earlier the better. Our people from the coastal region should know that all of them. We are the same people. We are the same people. Let us go home. And about the Nigeria, they should take the Nigeria and eat it. If they want to drink Nigeria, they should drink it like tea. Let us go home and build our place. And Marcy, I want to let our people know. They are talking about that there is no support at home. They, if they carry our business home, they can even the support of a team. We, if they, we can build it ourselves. I told them. I told them. I, I, we, 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 we. we can build it ourselves. Mazi, Egon, Mazi, how much they used to build that thread fair? Egon, the cage will build thread fair. Just small money, you will put it, you build a seaport. Small money, you add it in a, you know, in advance. You know, sometimes our people, there's something wrong with our people. Our people want to get the money now. They want to say that they didn't get them. But when you come to Europe, do you know in Africa, they don't have a family business? Like after the father died, the son will continue. After the son died, his son will continue. You can't see such a thing in Africa because of our primitive no life. No thing, yeah, that is why this is the sense we are giving to our people. This is why some 10 to 20 billionaires can join hands together and build a seaport when our people move their business down to Biafra land. And now they will add their name, add their son's name. The money will continue like this. It will become a generation business. This is how Europe works here. This is how it's working here. You know, we have to give. That is why we say we want to get Biafra. If Biafra comes, we are going to have a generation business, a family business that will never stop. It will continue. He based on cement. He is Beto Smith. Where is he Beto Smith today? Nowhere to be found. All this in the where it is because of the way the Nigerian is. They want anything that Igbo man started, they want it to die because they don't want that generation or family business to continue. Mazi Akas, I want you to use three minutes to conclude because I don't want to go more than two hours. Conclude, Mazi. Yeah, Mazi, I'm, I'm <coughs> going to summarize. Um, in my summarization, all I want to let our people know is that earlier the better we go back home earlier the better for all of us this is it i saw one of our gallant women wow maybe, that woman maybe is... the woman don't see nigeria finish we still don't reach out to neck where she, even she decided to lock, lock her house in lagos and go back home wow wow very she nice was, she was telling our people yes i i, I play it i play the video too i play the video too it's a gallant woman just knew how the woman means Men, in the program of gather a this woman. This is what men. This is what men cannot do. A woman is a woman. Eh? You see, these are women. Not to this long woman that are. You see, a different woman, a real different woman. Are you even more different than our men? Believe me, man. Let us go back home and build our place. Our people, you when you will know an evil man, man. It's when you push a new woman to a place where you think you cannot survive. We can build up seaport. We can make our place viable. Even if, even if we do not build our own. If, if we bring us to Lagos, if they have money on top, if we claim to that money they put on top, they will come to, to buy it from us. We will add that money again. This is it. No, 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 that is it. That is it. The greedy, the greedy, 
the greedy of our the greedy of our people won't allow them. As you, our people are moving to, as our as our people as our people. As our people are going back home, you go still see people that will be going say, ah, now my opportunity. You know our people had a mass conclusion. Okay. Please. I will make I will I will let me let me agree with you. Let me agree. We Thank you very much. Thank you much. All right, wonderful people. Um, this is Maziakas, a formidable IPOB in the beautiful city of Austria. I uh, will love his contribution. And uh, we will keep on doing what we know how to do best. And we will always face the reality. Like I said, our people can be able to do this by themselves gather money call it a family business that will never end this is how it works here in europe you don't have to work for yourself after you die your business will also die because this is mostly things you can see in our place when the breadwinner died the business died completely we can also change a narrative that when you die your son continues your business it will be generation upon generation, generation to generation. This is how things work here. When you come here in Europe, you will see all these Philly stations. This Philly station is from their father, from their great-grandfathers. This is how it goes. This is what we are trying to let our people know. You can create a business like that that will continue without end. I thank you, great people of Biafra, those people that share this video, and those of you that listen and I will say, Meshuko Kikabi, I'm going to continue to guide every one of you and also protect Onion Dumas in Namdekano. Of course, uh, he's still fighting, agitating today in DSS dungeon. We know the reason why they are still holding him. We know the reason why they don't want to allow him to come out uh, because of all these, their shenanigans and their stupidity. But we pray to Chukwo Kikabi, I'm going to say, Only Chukwo Kikabi, I'm going to say, 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 they look us finish they call us miscreants they call us uh, talkative they have called us all sort of names but today they are seeing it with their korokoro or you can see it what is happening today in nigeria after the Fulanese people in Hausa land kill us, finish, now is the turn of Yoruba. And our people have to learn and understand that <laughs> if you think that uh, no can come, it's not going to stop. And I'm using also this medium to tell our brothers and sisters, those that are living in other places and are thinking that this thing never get to them. <laughs> you have to join your brothers and sisters because if you are waiting, they will go get away with this wabacha. And I want to also use this medium at the same time. Great Ushe Shidiya, the wife of our leader. A resolute woman, a formidable woman. A woman that is, has been in this, you know, issue. And I know that Shuko Kikabiyama will protect her and guide her and give her that strength to be able to withstand till the end time. Because we know that, uh, you know, after the tunnel, there must be a light. Onyendu will come out and uh, she will also rejoice once again in her life, in her marriage life, because it's not easy for a woman catering the family without a husband. And it's not that the husband travel that is going to come back soon, but he's somewhere. I greet you all from me, from here. It is good afternoon.